I'm cloud hired. <laughs>
I wanted to close the gap and Mike and you allowed me to close that gap pretty quickly. Before joining GoCloud Careers, the only other training that I've done was the AWS training. Um, I just, had just purchased books and done things like A Cloud Guru or Linux Academy uh, for more technical training. I decided to join the program. I'd actually started to think quite a bit about what do I want my next step in my career to be. And it, on YouTube, I think I searched for something around AWS training or cloud architecture training, and I kept seeing Mike's face pop up. And then I then I Google Go Cloud Architects and went to the website. So uh, I dived in, and um, I guess the rest is history. Go Cloud Careers has really allowed me to understand the necessity of having good soft skills and being able to navigate a customer's problems by empathy and understanding what the issues are before even getting to the technology. So um, like my office says, it's about 50% business empathy and the other 50% is technical. The program has impacted me outside of my professional life in the sense that it's allowed me to really see that if I have a goal in mind or if there's something I want to do, it's just a matter of me taking the first steps and everything else um, kind of falls into place as long as I do the work. Um, and one of the assignments, uh, I forget which assignment it was, but I think it was about what is something difficult that you do and one of my passions is powerlifting. I've been competing in powerlifting for about two or three years now. And I kind of tie these two hand, hand in hand. They're both challenging, but very rewarding at the same time. And each time that you go into say a lab or even with a customer and you accomplish something or you help that customer or you learn something new, just like hitting a new PR in the gym or at a competition. So I think it's really just about, you know, Michael alludes to mental toughness a lot and really understanding that although you might feel tired or you, you might feel stressed, you probably really aren't. And it's just overcoming, you know, those little obstacles as they come up. But um, yeah, I think it's really allowed me to understand life a lot better and not just, you know, selling myself short when there's something I want to do and saying, okay, well, well if I don't have the experience of there i will always have experience in something and i can apply that somewhere that's something else that um mike has really um you know kind of drilled into the students and that i've taken into and drop into other parts of my life i really like for the lack of a better word um mike's almost militant ways in doing things it's not it's not soft by any means. It's uh, it's a refreshing change from how some of these programs they're catered to a certain audience. And I, I know that you know everybody has different tastes in the way that they can absorb content and like to learn. So I really really like the way that Mike teaches content and presents it. Um, and a lot of that just ties into again his understanding and what his experience is in life and sharing those through his expertise with cloud and network architecture. That was something that I didn't expect, but when I, one of the things that really stuck out to me was when he started to use the, um, the analogy of, uh, maybe not even the analogy, but the, the excerpt out of the art, art of war. If you know, your, know yourself, know your enemy, you'll always be successful. That's something that really resonated with me. Um, and I like, that he brings that up a lot uh, because it's, you know, he mentions it a lot during like the interview practicing, but I think that's just something important in life in general. And if you can remember those sorts of things and you will always be successful.